Hi everybody, God bless you all. I hope you're having an amazing, blessed day. Um, I wanted to come on and share with you uh, something that the Lord wanted me to share with you. Um, I was, it was late last night and I was sitting there praying and uh, just talking to the Lord and I was like, Lord, there's so many people, you know, saying this and saying that and making videos about this and sharing the things that, you know, you would have them share. And But I haven't really made any videos lately just about my testimony and asking for help and just trying to get through all this pregnancy scare stuff and and um, I said if I was to make a video for you what would I say because every all my videos have always been something led by something that the Lord spoke to me or a dream or whatever and most of my dreams have just been about this pregnancy lately and some amazing uh, words the Lord has given me in dreams and and it's just been a time right now in my life where um, I've just been relishing the relationship between me and the Lord and, and everything that's been happening. But I was asking him about just a word, you know, or something to to share and encourage other people on my channel and I said well Lord what would you have me tell them if, if you you know wanted me to do a video and before I could get the last thought of the word out I heard the voice of the Lord say tell them I am coming And it was like, tell them I am coming. <laughs> it sounded like that. And um, I just began to praise him because I know a lot of us are just like, Lord, are you coming? When are you coming? You know, we, we want to be with you, Lord. And we just want this wicked system to be over with. And we're just tired of everything that's going on in the world. And things are changing so fast um, in America and across the world. And sometimes it's disheartening. And, and uh, but that's what the Lord said. He said, tell them I'm, tell them I'm coming. <laughs> so... That's what I wanted to share with you, and it's encouraging. And I wanted to read from John 6 to you. And how are you ready for the rapture? So John 6, 28. Then said they unto him, he's talking to, uh, this was a sermon. And, okay, it's 29, no, 28. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works? Wait, no. Let's do 27. Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you, for him hath God the Father sealed. Then they said unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Then Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he hath sent. He's saying that, he's saying that you believe on me. But they didn't understand. They didn't understand that God sent him. Uh, they said therefore unto him, What sign shewest thou then that we may see and believe thee? What dost thou work? So they're saying, well, how are we supposed to believe you? Uh, give us a sign. 
so we can work, you know, <laughs> so we can believe. And he's, uh, they said, our fathers did eat manna in the desert as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. That's Jesus. He's the bread that was sent down from heaven. He was born of a virgin. He came to give his life so that everyone that believes upon him would have everlasting life. Then said they unto him, Oh, no, okay. For the bread of God is he which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. Then they said unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. And all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. So if you come to Jesus, he will not cast you out. Why? Because we're not under the law anymore. We're not being judged according to the law. We are under grace. We are under confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and you are saved and sealed eternally. He is that bread. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believes on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at that last day. Amen. Everyone that believes him, believes in him, believes in the Son, he shall not cast away, but they will have everlasting life. And you are in the palms of of God's hands, and you will be raised up. Amen. Okay, we look forward to the rapture. They were going to pass away, but they will be raised up on the last day. Then they all started murmuring because he said, I am the bread which come down from heaven. Okay, you guys can read this for yourself. I like 44, no man can come to me except the father which hath sent me draw him and I will raise him up at the last day. Amen. 47, very, very, verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus. I will give my life. The bread that I give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Give us this flesh to eat, they said. <laughs> Except you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. They were, he was telling the Jews that. Go ahead and keep your laws and commands and all these things that, you know, started out with Moses and this and that and... And but now I'm we're talking about a new covenant. Now we're talking about the law being fulfilled on the cross. Now we're talking about all you have to do is just believe in Jesus Christ and you're saved. You God will not cast you aside because you you didn't do a part of the law. Um and they didn't understand this. They did not understand this. But anyway, uh, brothers and sisters, I love you guys. I hope this is encur has encouraged you. And uh, Jesus is coming. And God bless you all.